Hi y'all, this is Larry from Deep South Texas, and today we have a real treat. We're going to make jalapeno cheese bread. Now this is a real easy and fast recipe, and with the size of these jalapenos, I think I'm only going to use one. <laughs> Let's get started. So we start off with two and a half cups of bread flour. Now, you can use all-purpose flour, it'll work out just fine. And to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of instant yeast. Now, if you're using a different type of yeast, such as uh, dry active yeast, um, you need to follow the directions on the package. Get that yeast in there, mix it up with the flour. And to that, we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm using kosher salt. Get that mixed in. Now we're going to mix in one cup of grated cheddar cheese. And mix it in a little bit at a time so it doesn't clump up. And now we're going to uh, add in our jalapeno. So this was one large jalapeno. It's diced into about um, one eighth inch pieces. And I have removed the seeds and the membrane. I really don't know how hot this jalapeno is going to be. But, uh, let's, let's get that mixed in. And the last thing we have to add is one and a quarter cup of room temperature water. We'll get that all mixed in, form kind of a rough dough. So we have all of our ingredients mixed together and formed into a, a rough ball. Um, now we're going to let this set for 20 minutes to let that flour fully rehydrate. But it's looking good. Our dough has been resting for 20 minutes and now it's time to begin a series of stretch and folds where we just Pick up the dough, fold it over. Do that several times. And this takes the place of, of kneading. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll do that four times every 15 minutes. And uh, by the time we're done, that dough will look marvelous. We'll get back on the last stretch and fold. Time for our last stretch and fold. The dough is feeling really good now. Now we're just going to uh, Form it up into a ball, put it back in the bowl, and let it rise for one hour. Well, our dough has risen. Time to uh, get it out of the bowl and shape it into a loaf. So I've lightly, lightly floured the uh, breadboard. Let's roll this out. Punch some of the uh, air out.
And I have a baking sheet that I put parchment paper on. And then we will cover that with plastic wrap and let it rise again for another hour. In about a half an hour, I will start preheating the oven to 430 degrees Fahrenheit. The bread has risen. Let's, uh, let's put a few slashes in it and get it in the oven. The oven has been uh, preheated to 430 degrees Fahrenheit. Also we want to brush a little water on it. All right, let's get it in the oven. And here is our jalapeno cheese bread right out of the oven. And it looks great. And it smells great too. Man, that turned out wonderful. Now comes the hard part. We need to wait for that to cool off to try it. Well, let's see if this bread has cooled down enough that we can cut it. And there it is. Looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. Ah, and it smells great. Let's uh, put a little butter on a, on a slice and taste it. Here we go. It is really good, really good. The, the crust tastes kind of like Cheez-Its. <laughs> uh, the jalapenos aren't too hot, so. I would call this a success. And this stuff will be really great toasted as well in the morning. Get you going fast. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.